Okay, so in this video, we'll be focusing on translation, which means moving one shape to another and finding out what exactly happened in terms of something known as a column vector, which is represented by this. Okay? Firstly, I'll explain what this notation means and how we put it into this form. But well, first things first, let's do part one, find the translation. Okay? So let's rub all this uses part out. Okay, so in your notepad or your sketchbook, first you draw the XY graph, so okay. No, but it's just a Y ball, so you can't expect it to be accurate. Okay. Okay, so X, Y. Okay, so now in here, imagine we had a shape. A rectangle. Okay. And first it's right on a corner, so we've got to say this is obviously zero zero, so let's make it about more in the middle. So this is minus one, minus two, and this is obviously gonna be one. So first things first, let's just write down the coordinates for each part here. So we know we know this part is obviously zero zero, so zero zero. Now this side, what's happening? We're moving two across and we're not going up, so it's just going to be minus two zero. This corner will be minus two plus one, so minus two one. And this one's obviously going to just go up by one, and but it's not moving across, so it'll be zero one. Okay. So well, the point of this, the whole point of finding corners, so we can see what happens as a translation. This is not very vital, but it may be needed. So firstly. Well, when this now is to find translation from what happens to here and how does it get over here? That's the question. How we're going to explain that? Okay. And next we'll do the second example over here. Okay. To work this out, let me just write down the coordinates. Firstly, let's just say here is two, three, four. Once again, we know that's one. Here's obviously going to be two. So first things first. What I'm interested in, how do we move, say, from this bottom corner to this bottom corner? How does this shape become here? Firstly, just take one corner, so let's take zero, zero, because it's easiest. How does it move from here to here? Well, firstly, we can see that it moves one, two, three, four across to the right, and one up. So, to explain this transformation, we say that this shape has been translated by 4 to the x by x4 so 4 to the right and 1 up so 1 so yeah your answer for this question would be from this shape to this shape would be 4 1 you've been translated by 4 to the right 1 upwards so yeah that's pretty much what it represents now to move from this shape to this shape we have to consider something else well, now this time we're going down to the negative coordinates so let's write down our negative coordinates so we say we have minus 2 here minus 3 okay okay so now once again from this corner to this corner we gotta stick with the right corners you can do this corner and that corner if you like but always start the easiest which is zero zero so firstly what happens from here to here well we can see it moves 4 to the right again, but this time it goes down by minus 3. So our translation is written as 4 minus 3. Okay, really straightforward. Personally, I believe this is one of the easy examples, so hopefully you understand this and well, definitely good luck for future examples. But before we, before we end the video, I want to give you an example where you have to write your own translation. Okay, let's just rub this out first of all. Okay, so now, just get it ready. Okay, yeah, so part two is saying that we want to translate by, by three minus two. So basically move x to the right by three and y downwards by two. Okay, so... Let me just give you an example so and then we can work this out. So let's just get our x, y out again. 
So imagine we had a triangle. Okay? And just say this coordinate. This must be a straight line here, so I'll get confused, please. Okay, this is always going to be 2, 1. Let's just say it's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay? And we want to translate by 3 minus 2. So what does that actually mean? So let's let's just once again start from the bottom right corner because well it's definitely the easiest. And let's move it three across and then two downwards. So one, two, three. So obviously it's landing at coordinate one somewhere. Now two down, so it'll be one, two. So we can see from zero to there it would be minus one, so the final shape would be this bottom corner. That means the left side corner is obviously one across from here, so it should be here. And the top right top corner should be here. So we can kind of guess that our final translation is here. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Any questions below, please let me know. Alright, so take care.